What up boys, this is just a super last minute video just to give you some tips if you didn't know already for leveling from 25 to 40. A few people have been asking me about different things so I figured I'd put it all in one place. So I'd say the first thing you want to do is BFD. If you can get a group for BFD on launch it's about one level of experience so definitely worth doing and you might be able to pick up any last minute items that you didn't already have. Second thing, try and make sure you've completed 20 quests ahead of time. Obviously, if you're doing this after launch, it's not going to be relevant, but you've still got a good few hours to get those in at the time of release of this video, if you haven't done so already. Third thing, decide if you're doing dungeons or questing. If you've got some buddies and you want to do dungeons with them and they've got pumper gear, you can do a nice little melee cleave or a nice caster cleave, you know, four mages and a priest. Pump out those mind seers. Mind seer is really, really good for this does insane insane aoe damage you can almost be top dps then uh, you can level really really quickly doing this obviously it's a little bit more boring than questing but some people don't like questing so this is a very good alternative if you are questing make sure you get a very good root add-on there are a few available personally i use rested xp it does all sorts of handy things from putting a little arrow on your screen to show you which way to go to putting the items on the screen that you actually need to use for specific quests to showing you what sort of steps you're going to be taking next and exactly what you need to be doing at any one time and it just goes through takes you through all the different quests in the most efficient way so that you know you're not wasting any time doing random stuff doing any quests that actually just suck and you're making sure that your time is money i am sponsored by them so if you are interested in supporting the channel make sure you go and check the description there is a link in there to get the add-on and you'll be able to get 5% off if you use code HYDRA. Next thing is make sure you've got the BFD Boon, the Ashenvale Drums, and the Dark Moon Damage Buff, obviously if you've saved it. These are going to help you kill things a lot quicker, especially if you're questing. This is going to help you out massively at the start. You want to try and pick up an early lead. If you manage to do this, you're going to get away from the pack. You're not going to have as much contest with the other quests, and you're going to have an easier time leveling up. This is going to be a huge deal, especially in the first few hours. And this is going to make you level way quicker than everyone else. Next thing is talents. And as priest, I would say your talent tree should look something like this to start off with. Barring the hit, I wouldn't take the hit, but make sure you've got five in spirit tap. You've got two in healing focus and five in ones. Then what you want to do is you want to put the rest into shield and you want to work down the disc tree to pick up these mana talents, right? So you're going to go three in shield, then you're going to go two in martyrdom, one in inner focus and three in meditation, okay? Then you're going to put one in fort and then you're going to put five in mental agility and you're going to keep working down towards spirit and then put the rest of the points in mental strength. Next up, you're going to be talking runes. The runes that you want to run are either death or penance this kind of comes down to personal preference early on i think death is really good because the mob hp is quite a lot lower as the mobs get a little bit heftier then penance might be a little bit better and obviously penance is going to be more beneficial if you get into a pickle however what you can do is you can pick up two pairs of gloves like what i'm doing and you can put penance on one and you can put death on the other right and what you do is you just bind both those gloves and you can switch between them at will so you can instantly swap in between the different runes when you're out of combat and this is gonna uh, allow you a little bit more versatility with regards to that rune both are very good as i said it comes down to personal preference on the legs i think homies no question uh, and on the chest is going to be void plague no question about it now we don't quite know where we pick up mind spike yet but that will be the, I believe it's belt rune. And the boots is just going to be dispersion. Obviously, we don't know where they're going to drop yet. Once we find out, hopefully they're going to be relatively easy to get and we can use them while leveling. So stay tuned. I will post info on that ASAP. Next up, there are certain spells that are worth going back to train for. Certain, certain level ranks that are, are very good. Uh, I would say the big ones are level 26, you get pain. Level 28, you get Mind Blast. Level 30, you get Inner Fire and Shield. Uh, level 32 doesn't have anything amazing. Level 34 is going to be Pain and Mind Blast, so this is a big one. Level 36, a little, little decent one, but not amazing, is going to be Shield. And then 38 doesn't have anything amazing, but 40, we pick up Mind Blast uh, and Inner Fire and all that good stuff. Now, at 38, you'll see you get Smite, and there's another rank of Smite earlier on, but we're not actually using Smite that much. If we start using Smite more, 
uh, with the mob HP being higher, then training smite is going to be important as well, obviously. But this remains to be seen. Lastly, just general priest tips. Basically, you want to be working a lot around the five second rule while you're leveling up. And this means your spirit tap. So try not to use too much in the way of casts as the mob is dying. Obviously, this will slightly differ if you're running shadow or death, which is why it makes the, the penance kind of more favorable to use early and then wand late. Whereas your shadow or death late and you're going to lose a bit of regen, but you're going to be more efficient overall. So this is the toss up and this is something that you will have to decide for yourself other tips keep moving move all the time you have some very strong dots and homies try to make sure homies are attacking you can force them to attack by being close to a mob and either wanding or meleeing it if they're being a pain keep an eye out for the shadow fiend quality of life book it's gonna help you a lot if you can manage to grab that that's a basically a free free mana return especially if dispersed doesn't come until later on you want to try and avoid drinking as much as possible there are some more tips in my previous leveling video so that's definitely worth checking out as well and that's it boys that is all the basic and some bit more advanced tips and priest tips that i've got for you for phase two of sod uh maybe you knew some of them hopefully there was a couple in there that you didn't know maybe it just refreshed a few things in your mind if nothing else if not thank you very much for watching if you got this far make sure you drop a like it helps us out tremendously we are really trying to grow the youtube and put out as many guides and information as possible on sod so every like counts every comment counts if you've got any other questions again make sure you drop it in the comments i'll do my best to answer so that other people can learn as well best of luck out there and hope you have a smooth 25 to 40 experience